Hey guys, what's going on? It is Amy again with Bargain Mama and I'm gonna pull actually, I'm trying to put my seat back further because today is Thursday, which means I went to Dollar Day at my Goodwill. So I have decided that I am going to do at least one thrift haul a week. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Um, we do have Dollar Days on Thursdays and that's, I'm not really doing a whole lot of other shopping. So those are just gonna have to be my content. So I'm gonna show you guys every week what I get on Dollar Day. So I was super excited this week. Um, I feel like I got some pretty good stuff. Again, I still have no idea really what I'm doing, but if I get something for a dollar and sell it for $10, I'm still making money. Yeah, anyways guys, let's get started. So I'll tell you what the price was, <clears throat> excuse me, originally, but, and I don't wanna have to say every time it was a dollar is a dollar, and I might accidentally say it a couple times, but in the end, just remember, every single thing that I bought was a dollar. So these are day trip shorts by Lynx, and they are a size 28. Not sure, I am about a 28. I think they're so cute. They had them for $5.29. So, yes, again, I paid a dollar. Um, I feel weird not saying that because I just, if somebody comes on, I don't want them to be like, oh my gosh, she paid that much. No, I paid a dollar for each thing. This is the Briggs. So, I think these are like older. So, this is a Briggs skirt. They had it for $5.29. It's a size small. It's made in Guatemala. But I really just got it because I think that this like purple and like the penguin, not penguin, oh gosh, a peacock kind of print on it is gorgeous. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. So I picked this up. I think that it is really going in with these colors right now. So there's that. This is modern canvas and it's a size medium. And it's just like a sweater, like a cardigan kind of thing. It's like the camo prints um yeah just like just a cardigan so I picked that up and there's nothing wrong with that some pockets so thought it was cute I picked this up this is the JM collection to be honest I have a couple of these they do not sell but I keep picking them up because I think they're so pretty so this is just like a wrinkled and it's supposed to be wrinkled um size large like white button-up shirts I just think it's really pretty. It has like, I don't know if you can probably not see it, but it's got like some sparkle and stuff to it. Anyways, it was a dollar, so I picked it up. I just really think it's pretty for winter. I don't know why, but sports bras and like tennis and golf skirts or skorts go crazy for me. I have no idea why. So I didn't want to say it. I personally, I don't think I would buy a used sports bra, but let's be honest. If you use a sports bra, it pretty much means you have to work out. So I don't buy sports bras in general, okay? So I wouldn't buy a used one because, again, to, if you use a sports bra, it probably means you're working out. And I don't do that, unfortunately. So anyways, this was in amazing condition. And this is by Cascade Sports. And green is my absolute favorite color, so I did pick this up to sell. They wanted $3.29. It's a size extra large. And I just picked it up. I like the back and stuff, so there we go. This one was one of my favorite pickups. I just loved how it was. I loved the just everything about it. So this is an Ann Taylor, size four. And this like, let me show you the skirt. So the skirt itself is like just this I guess knitted or whatever it is and then there's just a lining under it but look like the lining only goes so far and that's what the bottom looks like I think it is so flipping cute I believe that I can fit into it so I do want to wear it once before I sell it just because I think it is just gorgeous so they had this for $5.29 and yes I paid a dollar and this was like my second favorite find I don't know who this is by Harlow and Graham well there's probably no size tag um, it's a small and I again just like like the outer material of it it's like almost like netting but it's not and it's just a coat a zip up coat very simple and I just got that because I liked it I picked out kind of the the couple that I really like because I don't want this video to go on really long so I may not show everything that's why I'm also trying to go kind of fast just so I can show everything so they had this at 529 and this is by Mix Novia, no idea. I decided today, so I have stuff at home that I need to list, 
but it's boring. And so I just don't have the excitement to list it. Like, I'm just like, oh, I won't list it today. So today I said, you know what, Amy? I'm just gonna pick up stuff that I'm excited about listing. So it's not going to be like probably name brand or anything, but I just wanted something that was fun and that I would be excited about listing. So I picked up this. Again, it's by Max Novia. It's 529. It's a size large and it's just this long maxi skirt. I love the design on it. Y'all, just so you know, this sucker is see-through, okay? Your underwear will show. But I just think it's so cute. And like the bottom, I don't know, it kind of comes out a little bit. Like, I don't know. I just thought it was cute. And again, I just want stuff that's fun to lift. Here's another fun one I picked up by Me No Fashion, M-E-I-N-O Fashion. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Is there no size tag? I keep telling myself I'm not picking it up without a size tag. And then I just panic and don't ever look. It is a size, I think they circled medium, but I think they just, they, they circled just randomly between small and medium because they didn't know either. But 529, and I think this is gorgeous. Like it's the wrinkled kind. The, I feel like the colors and stuff are gorgeous for like fall right now. Look at, I don't know if you can see like the glittery up here at the top. I mean, it is just, I think it's beautiful. So I picked it up. Got a size tag. Let's see what else we got here. I picked this up. Who are you by? Victoria Holly. And it is a size eight. I don't know who Victoria Holly is, but I do feel like that might be a vintage tag. I have no idea. But this is a red shirt kind of thing. And I mean, let's see here. So it goes like this. This goes in the back. So this is the front these car hauls and clothes. Okay, Amy, focus. Okay, so it doesn't button or anything. That's what I was looking at in the store. So, what does it do, people? I think it just ties in the front. How are you supposed to make sure that your girls aren't showing? You better tie this sucker good, because that's exactly what it does. There is no button. It just ties right here in the front. Like, whoop, better be careful there. But look at these sleeves. Like, the bell sleeve. Oh my gosh. Like, I feel like it's kind of summery, but then I feel like it's kind of like Christmas and fall. I don't know. So anyways, that's a size um, eight. But again, now I'm all confused. I really wanna know, do you slide this? So this is the back. So this little baby is the front where you just tie that sucker closed and hope that a window don't come by. Um, there's one thing that I really wanna show you guys. So if anyone knows anything, I have tried to look up this name tag. It probably is not anything, but I, again, wanted to just pick up stuff that's fun. They had this at $6.99, and they have it listed as a large right here, which I would like to know where in the world that they found a size tag at because I can only find one tag on this shirt. And it is like, I wait, is it under here? Hold on a second, guys. Nope, it's not. I can't figure it out. Anyway, so this is the tag that I can see, and unfortunately, it will be backwards for you guys. I think that this says T-A-N-I-K-O. I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. And you guys, I have tried to look up everything and I cannot figure it out, but it is so much fun. So first of all, you guys, like look at the buttons. They look like almost like a patchwork, I guess, kind of button. Um, and what is on it? I don't know, I was hoping that would show me, but I don't even know. So those are the little buttons. Um, Like the pocket is just like here. I mean, there's just like random stuff kind of like on the sleeve. I don't know. And this is the back of it. So if you look like there's just like a patch kind of right here, I have no idea what this is. But, and it might be a pajama shirt. I honestly have no idea, but I just thought it was so much fun. And I just cannot find this, this brand anywhere. And I think it says, like I said, T-A-N-I, maybe that's an R. Oh, that, nope, it's a K. That's a K, I think. I don't know. T-A-M-I-K-O, I don't know. If you guys know anything, please tell me. But I just think this is cute. So I got it. Okay. What are you? Oh, why did I get this? I got a Cabela Safari series, a size extra la large in men's, six ninety nine because it looks practically brand new, and it is just literally a green button up shirt for men, and I 
So I picked it up. That's not fun. I can't remember why I picked it up, but this is by Evolution and Creation, designed in Los Angeles. It's they wanted $5.29. Again, I paid a dollar. And this is so cute. So I think it's a tank. I do not think it's a sports bra. It has a built-in bra in here. I don't know. What size are you? A large. So maybe it's a sports bra. Maybe it's just like a tank. I don't know. But it has those little flowers and stuff. And it looks brand new. So I got it. I found like three pairs of biker shorts. And like I said, my like skirts go really well and something else that I was selling goes really well and so I figured you know for a dollar they had them at five twenty nine. Oh no sorry my kid was calling I figured for a dollar I was gonna pick them up they're in great condition they're by Soki Sports S-O-U-K-E Sports so I mean they're the biker ones you know they have the padding right there so I picked up several pairs of those um, another sports shirt. This is by Bet and Court, made in Taiwan. Size large. They had it at five twenty nine, and this is just a yellow top kind of thing. But again, for some reason, the sports stuff sells really good for me, so I picked it up. What do we got here? This one I thought was really fun. Original Copa Cabana, made in the USA, and it is a hundred percent cotton and it's a medium, but. First of all, it has shoulder pads. <laughs> Women these days do not need a shoulder pad. But look at it. Like, that is gorgeous. Like, the flowers, all the, like, painting on it is perfect. It is so pretty. And it's just like, it's like a jacket or a shirt. But it is so, I just love it. It's so pretty. I'm trying to get this bag cleared out so I can put everything back in here. This is by Harper Heritage. No idea. Size medium. But, and they wanted $5.29, but it was just a full button denim skirt. And so I picked it up because I, like I said, for a dollar, at least I'm learning so much about things. So, and this really, like it has nothing wrong with it. So even if it sells, like I said, for $10, I'm still learning, seeing how things go. And for a dollar, I'm willing to take that. These are American Eagle Next Level Stretch, a size zero, so they probably won't go very far, like very long, but they wanted $6.99, but it's a pair of jeans, like I said, for a dollar, and it might take a while because they're a size zero, but I just, I mean, they're cute, so I got them. Oh, we're almost done with this bag so that I can put all this back in there. These are by Bebe. Mm -hmm. And they're a size zero, but they're just a pair of dress pants. They're gorgeous condition. The bottoms are extremely flared. Um, I love the waist on them. I mean, they're in gorgeous. You guys can see like the shine and stuff. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Nothing is wrong with them. So I picked those up. Again, guys, I only paid a dollar, so I'm willing to take a chance on some of these. This right here is by Denim and Flower, Ricky Singh. And that somebody ripped the size tag off, but again, it was something I just wanted to try. And yeah, and they had it for $5.29. They have a medium circled, but how they got that, I don't know. Uh, let's see here, denim and flower, made in India. It has the RN number so I can look it up. But anyways, I just picked it up. So it's just like, it's very soft and it's just like Hawaii kind of, and I don't know trying things out right now so let's see this is a Calvin Klein skirt y'all let me tell you I can't sell Calvin Klein to save my life but some of them are like bright pink um, like sweater dress kind of things that I've had before some of them are like very colorful shirts which is what I like so I decided I'm gonna try it out this is invisible fit solutions a size sorry there's some co-workers right there a size 2 they had it for 529 it is just a straight up black skirt pencil skirts nothing special to it so I'm trying it out I am going to try that out let me take these two out and then try to at least fill this bag so we might have to do two videos so I might have two videos without very much but I really like my dollar days at Goodwill I feel like they have amazing stuff there this is by buy and buy 
and they wanted 529 it's a size medium but i just love the shirt it's like a coral kind of color it would be good in spring but i feel like this is kind of folly too with like a really cute pair of white jeans and like some um toms or something so flipping cute so i picked that up and then i picked up this chap skirts i mean i thought it was cute and it says chaps denim um size 4 99 cotton they wanted $5.29, but again, I got it for a dollar. So, actually guys, I am probably going to stop this and redo another one right now because I still have a whole lot. So I'm gonna try to make this into two videos. Um, again, this is all from Thursday. I'm going to upload one of these tomorrow on Friday. I'll probably upload it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then maybe I'll have some yard sale hauls and then some DIYs, I don't know. but. Again, a lot of people have said like, Amy, it doesn't really matter um, if you like doing these hauls, do them. And you guys, it's like a treasure hunt when I go on Thursdays looking for the dollar deals. It's it's awesome. So again, I'm learning and I feel like I said the dollar is amazing to try it out and see how it sells. So if you guys want to watch my next video, I will upload this one on Friday and Saturday. We will have another one from Dollar Day Thursdays in Arizona. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.